President Trump tweeted this earlier, writing, The wonderful people of Puerto Rico, with their unmatched spirit, know how bad things were before the hurricanes. I will always be with them. This coming after the president tweeted this on FEMA. He said this yesterday, writing, we cannot keep FEMA, the military, and the first responders who have been amazing under the most difficult circumstances in Puerto Rico forever. Wow. Joining us right now is Passive CEO Jorge Rodriguez. And Jorge, thanks very much for coming back. We've been really watching the developments through you, and we appreciate your, your joining us. What is your reaction to the president's tweet? Can't keep those first responders there forever. Well, I think I, I agree with the sense that we as Puerto Ricans, you know, it's been over 40 years of, uh, or 50 years of federal handouts. And I've always made the point that we need to raise uh, ourselves, you know, and, and be able to create value our own selves, uh, not only within Puerto Rico, but, uh, you know, in the world. Just a, a quick fact, uh, our exports are, do not exceed 3 4%. Uh, we really don't, we're not connected to the world economy. And uh, we, I call it the, 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 the washing machine economy, where we get the federal handouts and the foreign investment, and then we move it around. Agriculture is about 3 4%, tourism is 6%. Yeah. And then we just have, we just have two economies, foreign investment and government handouts, you know. Where, where's the breakdown happening, Jorge? I mean, the FBI is now looking into widespread allegations that local officials are, uh, local officials are withholding the supplies that are coming from FEMA. FEMA is trying to deliver them. So the FBI received numerous reports from Puerto Rican residents that local mayors, local staffers are distributing goods among themselves before distributing them to the struggling Puerto Rican citizens. Anyone found guilty could be facing 20 years behind bars, Jorge. Where do you think the breakdown is happening? Well, this is not new for us. Uh, I mean, I, I know I, lot of, I got a lot of uh, hate mail after my first article, and now I have to say I told you so.